Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a post note. Today we'll be looking at three different variations that you commonly found on the internet. One that is a bit off the wall, one that is starting to curl, and one that is curled inwards off the wall. And we'll also look at the shading that happens in the background. Before we get going, if you like this tutorial or any of the others we've done, please subscribe. Now, let's create our base shape, very simple, press shift. You obviously make a post note and we're going to give it a yellow color somewhere around here and close to the top like that. Yeah, that seems all right. Then we'll create an anchor point. We'll create another shape right at the top and this corresponds to the stick area. And this shape can be a bit lighter or darker, but honestly, I prefer it to be a bit lighter. It gives a nicer effect. Then we'll create our background shape just like that. And this will correspond to our shadow. And you want it to be dark shadow for a dark background. If it was a light background, like a white, you want it to be a lighter gray. So we arrange this to the back. We send it to the back. And I'm just gonna make a copy of this instance so we don't have to make it the next time. Now, the first shape, super simple. Grab the anchor point right here and just pull it back. Simple as that. If you find that right up here, there's a displacement, you go to your add. Add anchor point tool right here, click it right there on the path, and then just bring it to the pathway right there. Very simple. Great. Now let's copy the shape, bring it to the middle, and let's do a second shape. Again, very simple. We take our anchor point, we bring it up a bit, and now we're going to press Shift C, which is the convert uh, anchor point tool, like that, and we're going to get rid of this handle right here. So click and hold this angle until it disappears. And we're going to give it a bit of a lip and kind of a curve like that. So great. Now using the pen tool, we'll click on using the pen tool, we'll click on this anchor point right here. And then close to it and a bit high, we'll give it a concave upwards appearance. We click on this anchor point and then Again, down to here, and once again, a concave upwards appearance. Click on it again, and we'll close the shape. About so. Then, we're gonna make this a bit, tiny bit darker than it actually is. So right about there. And that's all it takes to give this kind of 3D lip effect, as you see up here. Obviously, you can play with this. Maybe not so much of a sharp increase, we can make it a bit more gradual, but that's the basic premise. Now, and once again, with this shape, you can add an anchor point right here. Or actually, the better way to do it would be to have this yellow shape only, um, not to the top, but only to this place right here. But it's too late for that, let's keep going. And a final shape. Again, very simple. Let's bring it up to here. Has a lip and it curves out and a different shading right here. So this point, we're gonna get our anchor. We're gonna bring it out to somewhere in the middle here. Press Shift C. And we're gonna hold it out and make a kind of curved profile like this. Let's give it a bit more of a curve like that on that side. And a bit more at the top too. So it looks a bit more rounded. Great. Now that we have the shape, we can go once again to our pen tool, and click along this pathway, and do the exact same thing as we did before. Concave upward shape, click on the anchor point, click on the pathway, concave upward shape on the anchor point. Let's bring it down to here. Yay. Click on the anchor point and then let's close the shape. Roughly there, should do it. And once again, give it a slightly darker color for the shading. Now we have that. Now for a background, we're gonna do something a bit differently this time. We are going to convert this anchor right here with Shift C. And we're gonna round it out just a tiny bit, similar to that. Then we're going to grab it, the anchor point, and we're going to bring it closer to this point 
right here. Then as we do that, we're also going to change the shape of this and make it a bit smaller by holding shift and bringing this in to roughly there. You want to just a bit off the edges, off the left and the top edges, like that. And we're going to go to Effect, while we select it, go to Blur, and Gaussian Blur, right there. You can zoom out to see the effect. Like that. And I found for a shape about this big, this is 1200 by 700 pixels, around 40 pixels should do, but you can play with it until you find something that works for you. Press OK, apply the Gaussian Shift, Gaussian Blur, and you'll see that it gives this kind of gradual gradient type shape to your, um, to your shadow. And it looks a bit more realistic, as if it's given a bit more depth. So I'm going to just pull this lip back a bit, like that, and maybe make this a bit more prominent. And there you have it. That's the basic way of creating a post note. If you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. And as always, have a great day.